with weekly Dama news coming at you every week. Oh, besides last week, because uh, we had a little hiccup. But hey, usually every week, every Sunday, we are here talking about Ken Dama and the things that have happened within the community. I am from Ken Entertainment. My name is MJ. I'm one of your hosts, and we also will be joined shortly by Rylan from Ken Drama. He just did a big move, so he's all, you know, busy, busy. So we were able to get in contact with him, but we had to change the time a little bit for this one. But hey, here we are. We're still going to be doing it. Weekly Dama News last week. Uh, I forgot what happened exactly, but one of us was sick, possibly. Any case, we got two weeks worth of stuff to talk about as I'm coughing. You probably hear me. I'm a little nasally. I'm coming off of uh, coming down from a little cold that I have myself, so not sure if I'll be able to do a full hour for this one. We'll see what happens, though, okay? As I drink and I try not to cough too much. So we'll just be rolling on, and as Ryland jumps in, then he'll be able to join the live stream with us. So I'll be going from the back of the... Uh, from last week, What the things that I've missed, um, which are a few... Big ones, okay? So let's start off with Kendama World Cup. KWC is happening this weekend in Hatsukaichi. There are a few people who are traveling from overseas to join in this year's... The, 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 the year that we finally have come back and many events are actually happening in real life. So this is one that I think a lot of people are excited for. But on the contrary, the entrance to Japan is still really strict and it's re- very very difficult to come here and as just a tourist even still there was this crazy like package kind of like test that the the like a package tour that the government tested like I think last month but turns out nobody came for that and that was supposed to be like the test to see what they could do in the future how they could roll out and develop it to have more people come uh, but <laughs> You hear that shit? Damn. So nobody came, so they weren't able to test anything. So nothing has been progressing about having uh, independent travelers, tourists, come to Japan. So there aren't too many, but, you know, Gloken spoke out a lot and put a lot of information out there. If you are traveling from overseas, want to join the Kendama World Cup, uh, you'd have to contact them. They'd have to, like, put you on this, like, weird list, and you'd have to, like, find your own way to Hatsukaichi because in the past there was, you know, it, it was the zoo, the circus, the traveling circus, all the way from uh, o- Osaka. Everyone would travel into Kansai Airport, Osaka, and then by bus drive down to Hiroshima. And that's where a bunch of shenanigans happen. But that's not happening in this case. So there are only a few people I've heard from, um, I think just neighboring countries, a few like Taiwan, Hong Kong, China. Uh, Korea, South Korea, <coughs> people traveling, but the ones that maybe you know about are Jake Weens, he'll be going over as the MC, as per every year, main MC for the event, as well as uh, the Soul Boys, I know Chad's coming, definitely, uh, I've already seen a secondary event that they will be holding in Tokyo after the World Cup. That's happening this weekend again. Um, so tune in. If you have if you have a YouTube, which everyone... Like, yeah. Go on to YouTube. Uh, check out Glow Ken. They have a Kenama World Cup. I think already scheduled, already plans that you can like sit and wait uh, to join for day one, day two. This year is going to be like a takeover of, I believe, the Japanese players because of just the amount of people. I, I really don't know of any other companies, any other uh, uh, Westerners, tr- foreign travelers that will be coming in, players, I should say. <coughs> Man, I've just learned the more that I talk, the worse this shit gets. I was like, I think I could be able to do it. You know, I got this weird shit cough, but maybe I can do it. I, I-, I need, I need Ryan's help. Any case, that's happening. Uh, there's cash prizes that are happening for those people who will be there. First place gets five grand. It's pretty penny. Uh, second place gets one thousand dollars, and uh, and third pra- place, shit, third place gets five hundred bucks. About this is all in Japanese yen. We're kind of converting. Um, the uh, U.S. dollar is actually a lot stronger than the yen right now. Then fourth place actually gets three hundred bucks. Fifth place gets a hundred bucks. That's not that bad. 
That's that's pretty cool. You're in fifth place and you get some cash. I'm, that's that's pretty exciting stuff. Not just like here's a bag full of damas that you may already have, or if you're sponsored, you just have to like I don't know play with them if you want, or you got to get just sell them. Um, so that's something happening. Cash prizes. That's always a thing that was like really cool. And of course, at the beginning of the event, uh, Kenna World Cup. It was cool just to see it happen, and everyone who took part was just excited that it happened. Uh, but it was like, you know, Kubota-san, head of Gloken, was like, he wants to like really make this more impactful for the community in Japan, for like news people to see it and stuff. Like, if it's just like a tiny kind of, it, I mean, it was big, but it seems tiny because there's no like cash prizes, but when there's cash involved, you know, media takes attention a little more. So <laughs> that was one thing that he did that I believe helped, you know, put a spotlight on it and grab a really big uh, sponsor, huge like construction, uh, house corporate, house construction company deals a lot with wood, which makes sense. That's why it's wood one. All right. You all know about it. The door. <coughs> so it's, it's happening uh, recently. Uh, if you check out the Glow Ken, oh no, Ken Demo World Cup. Instagram page, you can see all the volunteers there. They're highlighting all the people, all the staff that will be there, which is really cool. Yo, you got Soma Fujita, uh, going to be the cinematographer filming the whole thing, making an edit at the end. That's, you know it's going to be good. Soma's behind the lens. Um, of course, you got your, your usual judges, Shimadera, Extreme Kendama, um, <laughs> Akimoto Satoru, the professional, you know, pulling up 60 Big Cups dude. You know, he's going to be there. Uh, the boy Max Ida is going to be helping out with the emceeing as well as, yeah, Jake Weens and Nobu, the usuals. Uh, it, interesting. There was, here it is, here it is, online exhibition. So they're still going to be doing the game online. You'll be able to participate online. I didn't read too much into this, but there's going to be cash prizes for the online players too. It's down a lot. It's <coughs> goddamn from the if you're going to be there but still that's not bad uh and i'm not sure exactly how they're i guess it's going to be like in real life champion for a second whatever uh and then online version so i'm guessing the irl champion is going and placements are going to trump the online exhibition because 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 come on come on what does it say it's just this online cash prize exhibition okay uh, one thousand five hundred dollars first place. Second place gets three hundred bucks. Second, uh, third place gets two hundred bucks. That's pretty dope. All right. So interesting to see how it's gonna happen online. I'm still. Uh, do you guys know about this? Do you guys know how it's gonna happen? Because I'm kind of lost in the whole thing. <coughs> I haven't been following up. Um, I am not going. I got this shitty cold that I've been. It's been reoccurring. I feel like every month I've had something happen where the whole family's been down. Um, but yeah, that's happening. Kendama World Cup 2022. Tune in. A lot of people aren't going to be making it. Like, I'm not going to make it. Um, but tune in. I know I will be on YouTube and show the support through that. It's going to be cool. Ta da Oh, one cool thing. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, next thing. Hey. Let's keep it Japan. Let's keep it Hatsukaichi, Hiroshima, the birthplace of Kendama. Talking about, turn the volume off, the new product from Muge Muso, Iwata-san. It's coming out. It's the Uzu, um, and Uzu is a spiral. If you haven't seen it, it is a crazy designed Tama where it's a 50-50 split, and on the top, it has two Types of wood, I think it's, I don't know, it's probably like maple, I'm not sure exactly right now, maple and like, uh, it just says coming soon. <coughs> Damn, maple and uh, walnut, Look, it's a brown wood. Intertwining, making a, a, a spiral shape. So thinking about it, there it looks, there are two solid pieces of wood that he masterfully cut and slid them shits together like a key. And that's the top half of the Tama. Pretty intense. You know, he's been really like pushing the envelope of crafting Kendamas, of course. Uh, he has really 
well known within Kendama history for uh, the Mugens. Um, but now, here he has the Uzu. New one. That's coming out. It has the separate, I think, split spike that you can replace. Because, you know, remember the, the Mugen Musos, the originals, when they first came out, he had that rubber tip because he was really focusing on, you know, people talk about the tip always going down of your Kendama. So how do we preserve that? How do we change that to be something that is is more, I don't know, like forward thinking? <laughs> Excuse me. So now, instead of a plastic tip, because that kind of looked whack, I think all, a lot of people were like, eh, plastic? Like, the one cool thing that we all love about Kendama is how natural it is. It's just a piece of wood. <coughs> and a string. Multiple pieces of wood. And a string. Now, we also have a, um, a metal bead. So in any case, any case, the, the coolest thing about this is that he went over and he talked to... Uh, the high receipts, bit my tongue. The high receipts will be making a video. I have a video out already. You know, by the time I, I'm looking at this, it's like coming soon. No, it's out already. Go check out high receipts or Muge Muso on their high receipts. I think YouTube channel as well. They have the full video up. I believe it's like three, almost four minutes. And we all know, we all love the high receipts. They've been doing such amazing things, uh, trick wise, like just just vibes. Um, cinematography, all great stuff. So go check it out if you haven't, and check out the Dama. It's really ridiculous. So shit nasally. Okay, what's another one? Hey, we got the Josh Flowgrove again. This is all from last week, everyone. Josh Flowgrove, new V two mod out on the amped shape. Um, slightly, you know, slightly different colorway. It's it's pretty similar to the last one. The design uh, colors uh, have changed a bit, and of course, the Ken has changed. Uh, I think there was a new type of string. The Tama is a full maple, or no, beach, beach on maple Ken. Before there was, you know, that bamboo core that was within the Tama. Let me know in the chat if you guys had that one. I remember I saw on Sweets, he was talking about it on the on his Twitch streaming, and I like just <laughs> quickly commented, damn. Um, I'm like, yo, how does that shit hold up? Like, it's such a cool concept, but how does it hold up with, like, warping over time? You know, here in Japan, it's super humid in the summers, and then it gets very, very dry in the winters. So, like, I'm sure that's uh, not such a good thing for it. Because I've had plenty of damas that I've put away in storage. Perfect spherical objects. The damas were great. And then, like, I don't know, a year later, I, bring, I whip them out to just reminisce and mess with it. And I look at it, and it's, it, it's like, fucking cock-a-doodle-doo. It's going to be laying eggs. It is an egg. Uh, so it's kind of sad to see. So, <coughs> whoa, I was like an old man one. <coughs> so, <laughs> shit. So, I asked Sweets. I was like, yo, is it, you got the bamboo core in there? What's the deal with that? That's such a cool concept. Is it going to be in this one, too? He said, nope. It was, uh, you know, very problematic when they were making that first one. And so it was a tough thing. It's a good idea, but they're not going to do it again. So there you have it. Uh, yeah. So pick one up. Support Josh Flowgrove. Ridiculously awesome human being. What else we got? What the hell is this? The Global Kendama Video Contest. What the shit? Okay. Okendamas and Oken Club has got together to create a global video Kendama contest. You guys know about this? You guys know about this shit? No? Um, seven various categories, massive prize pool, lots of fun and action. Stay tuned to Global Kendama VC. For further information, rules, deadlines, judges, sponsors, prizes, ETC, etc. Let's go over and check that right now. Professional sports team, Global Kendama VC. It's going to be backwards for you guys unless you're watching uh, later on the playback on YouTube where I flip everything so it's correct. Because why Instagram does this, I don't know. Okay, so that was... What? They've done this before? It was all in Russian. Well, at least all the text is in Russian. When was this one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Doing some research, doing research. 2020, they did stuff. Okay, yeah, and it's all in Russian. There's a lot of shit happening with uh, Russia now, so I don't know where your cards are lying. But in any case, interesting thing, you know. 
that they're doing. And it seems like they'll be doing it maybe <laughs> focus. This, this recent one is the only one that is post is the only one that's in English. July 2nd, it came out. Nothing further after that. But who knows that that profile pic is just a black circle. Shady. We don't know. Um, what the hell? Okay, so that's one bit of news. Who the hell knows? Hey, um, there was a leak. There was a leak, guys. You know, not like a fucking faucet or in your basement pipes and shit. The oh yes yo, deal with it. It's coming out. Be on the lookout. You know, uh, there's been a lot of news that's happening uh, with deal with it. <laughs> but if you are a nerd and you do a lot of checking, I mean, uh, you might find stuff like this. Uh, I mean, he even hashtag Ken Daman. I believe that's how I found it. Scrolling through, doing that death scroll. Hashtag Ken Dama, And this one popped up. And I was like, oh shit, here you go. The new one. It's going to be the third version, I believe, if I'm incorrect. I'm correct? Incorrect? I think it's the third version that they've done. Uh, collab, deal with it with oh yes, yo. Uh From what I understand, dude is a yo-yo player. Yo-yo-er. He's a yo-yo thrower. Um, he throws yo-yos. He walk. He's a dog walker. I mean, that, that could be. That's my stupid joke. Um, yeah, so that new one's coming out. It looks pretty sweet. It's, it looks like Ash. Ash Ken. Purple Heart. Stripe right there, and I think it's a purple heart. Yeah, dude, going with that cross crucifixions, uh, you know. And then there's looks like looks like dude does some artwork too, and looks like he's got like a dope ass, uh, yeah, wolf head printed right on the top. It looks like a lot, almost all the detail was lost. Sadly, looks like within um, the original art piece, and then the Tama top top tracker. And the Tama, I'm guessing, sticky, purple heart in the middle. Cool stuff. Really, really cool. Got dark vibes to it, so I'm down. Uh, and purple heart. Why not? Purple heart to save the spike. Purple heart in the Sarado to give a, extra weight to it. Hey, hey, it's going to be a good down. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, and another big thing. Hey, let's just jump into it while we were there. He, he jumped in the chat quickly. <coughs> Quincy, congrats. New pro. On the Deal With It team. Right here. Dude uh, from Seattle. From what I understand. Spokane. Awesome to see. Dude, did you guys see his edit? Like, go check the edit out. I, on Instagram. I'm not sure if it's in, on YouTube. Uh, but go check it out. Really, really, really beautiful downloads. I really like the simple design shapes that he used. Right? But as well as just the colors. It's a really neutral, natural colorway that he went with. It's very interesting to th just to like think about, you know, what kind of colors you want to put on there. It's like cream. It's like that's pretty much the color of wood. Um, but with the intricate, you know, that burgundy, maroon, red, you got the string in there and, and the dots, like that line, like, I don't know what it is about it. But it's, yeah, it's a dope looking Tama. That does definitely stand out, right? Because, you know, you got, we got, we all know Dots, Ben Harold. Uh, then you got the zigzag under it, you know? Um, line within, you know, there's so much that you can do with the designs of Tamas. And I've seen <coughs> a lot. I've tried it myself out. And it's not easy. It's not easy to come up with something that, like, works playability wise and as well as like design eye pleasing here definitely hits both marks uh you know sometimes you'll get some that are maybe playable wise good but like looking at it it's like maybe it's kind of weird or maybe they're both really not there but it's a design like oh you, you could put anything on atama yes you can but maybe it's like it's kind of uh doesn't look good as I've just said already, and playability kind of gets hindered by the design of it. But here, it doesn't at all. It looks it looks so dope, and again, congrats, a new pro on the deal with the team. There's not too many of them, so it's really cool to see. What else we got? Hey, for everyone talking about 
Washington, I think. Is this Washington? Bellevue, Downtown Park, August 13th for the day. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, pro. There's a full Bellevue Kendama <laughs> battle going down. I thought this was being run by Kendama USA just because the aesthetic look of it, you know. Excuse my nose. Um, where is that? Bellevue downtown. Where, where is that, guys? Bellevue. The sponsors, hey, everyone. Sweets, Kendama USA, GT, Kendama Depot, Lotus, Chrome, deal with it, Soul, Terra, Quad, Active. There you go. Oh, shout out to Jack Stream, Jack Swim, Jack Jack Scene. Uh, I think that's the homie over in Spain who does the Ouija, Ouija board. Who does the balancing Ouija board jams? You guys know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> that's cool. All right, so that's happening. So if you're in the area, Bellevue area, wherever the hell that is, I think it's for some reason. I think like I saw one of the Gallagher's posted about it. Like they'll. I, I feel like it's in Washington. I could be totally wrong. Uh, continuing on. Hey, we got a new pro, a new women pro player in the Kendama world over at Winter Kendama's Kendama China. Uh, they released a new mod. Oh, I'm gonna. Per- I don't. Not good at pronunciation with Chinese names so well. Ching Yan is their new pro. Uh, she has been featured as uh, for doing like I think a, a trick at eleven. She was chosen for a trick eleven Kendama World Cup trick this year. She, she's ridiculously good. If you didn't know about her, if you didn't follow her, she is. Uh, where was it? I think she's competed. She placed like <coughs> pretty highly in the past, like the few online World Cups that happened. I believe she plays pretty high, like third or some shit. I could be totally wrong. This is coming out of, out of the brain. Excuse me again with the nose. But hey, it looks like a very, very interesting Tama. Um, the design work that goes with it doesn't, like, there's no match to it, except maybe the kind of the color, not even the colors, actually, now that I look at it. But maybe, like, the flaming style. This could be maybe, like, a sticker or some shit. But in any case, there you go. You got, you got, congrats. Classic, super classic. Um, signature right on the handle. A uh, little extra motif down at the bottom, maybe connected to her her name. Um, could be co- totally wrong with that because there doesn't say the most chill Kendama girl is coming. Signature pro model for Chang Yang is on sale right now. Kendama China. This, I was just looking at this really quickly. That base cup really reminds me of the Moonlight? Moon? What is it called? Moonlight Kendamas that have uh, kind of popped up recently? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's there's a nice design on the top. Uh, but won't really help with tracking too much. You know, it's there's not such a big contrast from that light blue to the white. So, hey, but it definitely looks good. Oh, there, there you go. There's there's that monkey design on the back of the package. And some f- fire uh, kind of design around the tracking to- uh, dot at the very bottom, a tracking scope at the bottom. Another pro, woman pro in, in it. So that's really dope to see. Need more women pros. Excuse me as I'm trying to breathe and talk, which mostly everyone can do. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ken Discord family put together an edit. Links in the bio, go check it out. Uh, Ken Jama Discord spring edit, sort of maybe late, but something get together. Hey, if you're on the Ken Jama Discord, you uh, hang out. Hey, I stop by it like maybe three times a year or some shit. I'm in it. Um, that's really cool to see them get together and do something like that. That's again goes to if you listen to the most recent Dominoes episode with uh, D Westy, we talked about like you know having a group of people that real nerds that stick around to play and they continue on. Uh, it's really great to see because that's what's going to keep you going. So to see the community come up, especially you know everyone's like past two years not being able to hang out with each other no events and stuff little by little they've been popping off but (coughs) 
you can't spend so much time together. So putting an edit together could, it's a very difficult, very challenging thing, I, I believe. Um, but they did it. Hey, there you go. I got Kendama racks. Check it out. You know, I got the, the Ken Garden wall display. I got the, uh, Cliff John. And over there, I got, I, I got Dama Tree right there. Okay. What I don't have, though, is this. Coming from Quad Kendamas. You guys see this one? It's a gun rack. What am I going to do with a gun rack? I don't even own many guns, let alone a gun, that would necessitate an entire rack. What am I going to do with a gun rack? Oh, I just lost all the followers. People what? watching, or maybe it's because I'm just coughing into the mic. Hey, that's really cool. You can hang uh, your, your jacket, your hats, or your doms right there. There you go. You got the, the Q logo that is in there, and that's how you place it. They are front-facing dama displays, hanging displays, which are pretty rare. You know, I've seen other ones. I'm sure you have, too, seen different types of them, and they're usually, you know, like this, hanging off on the side. It's totally fine. But if you want to see what the Kendama looks like from the front, you know, you get one of these. It does take up a lot of extra space, so it's going to be a lot wider. That's what I like about these. Um, and that could have been, you know, something that people thought about when they were creating them. But it looks like they hold about five. Sorry, four. Usually they hold five, but also these are like 2014 Damas. So with smaller cups, if I put normal size ones, I think Cliff Johns, they upgraded it and you can put in this new generation of Damas up there, no problem, five, um, but maybe five would be tight on these older versions, but the Dama Tree, I think, would still work, D. Westy mentioned otherwise, but use the small cups, I believe it'd work, and also, I don't have that many, any case, Quad Damas, uh, Ken Damas is putting stuff out, that's really cool, you know, we know the hand turn stuff, so why not take a crack at creating some Dama displays, if you're looking to display your Damas, not just put them on your shitty shelf or your bookshelf or in the closet or like in the car glove gut box down on the floor or some shit. Not like like hang them up. They look dope. Um, okay. <coughs> Recent stuff. I mean actually I've been going back and forth right now. Oh, oh, oh hey hey. You could freestyle for 30 seconds, can't you? This is a contest going down for Kendama USA right now. 30 second freestyle contest. Giving away the confetti. Uh, <laughs> fun Fetty, first place. Second place gets the Trill Mod. Um, third place gets any guys and <laughs> the rules are <laughs> goddamn. <coughs> Cough your brains out and then post a 30 second freestyle run to your Instagram feed. Tag Kendama USA in the caption and use. Hashtag Kusa Freestyle 30 uh, so they can see your shit. Tag two friends in the comments of the, your post or of the post I'm reading right now from Kusa. Is that just me? Reading into it weirdly? Contest ends July 28th. Is it? It's like 25th. You guys got a week. You didn't know about it? You didn't do it? 30 seconds. Good luck. This the shit says right there. Good luck. Go into it, everyone. Um, let's see it. Ha has anybody done it yet? Let me know in the chat. I haven't seen anyone. 30 second clip posted on Instagram. Tag them in the captions and you got to use their hashtag Kusa Freestyle 30. Who's going to get it? Have you, let's, let's check out the hashtag. How many people have made something? Fewer than a hundred posts. All right. All right. So far. I mean, every, you know, we all like to talk a lot and not do much activity, right? Wait till the last minute. Uh-huh. I know. I, that's how I've lived my life. It's kind of not so great. Um, there you go. Four. Uh, three. Three people have posted so far. Uh, I think that's Shredwin. No, that's not. Come on. Doesn't that look like Shredwin? That's not, though. Um... Niederins, Hell's Kitchen Sesh. There you go. Oh, it is. Chrome Kingdom didn't really want to post this on my main page. 
because it is a freestyle one. That is the shreddies. Yeah, it is. That is. Yep. I just. Okay, okay. So Shredwin posted a 30 second. Uh, hey, to be technical. Wait, wait, wait. It's 30. <laughs> damn. 31 seconds. But you know, him pulling up. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, next one, James Kendama put up another one. Decided to enter. He's in it. There you go, everyone. There's only been three people. And then Hina Dama from Japan. Where is she? Nothing but Kendama Cafe over in the Kansai. Looks like. But she's got slow-mo in there and stuff. Wait, let me let me see this post. Oh, no. Not leave the app. Not go to her profile. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, so you got four. Four people right now. That's how many people are watching. Now, we got three people watching. Four people uh, into the Kenta. <laughs> Kenta USA freestyle contest that's ending the end of this week, the 28th. Why not go check it out? Why not give it a test? Why not see what you got? Why not be a part of the community? And this is one way you can do that. It's fun. It's cool. Um, do it up. And you will find actually yourself being like, wow, lacing for straight 30 seconds is kind of difficult. It's not the easiest thing. Uh, but hey, sometimes you just got to take what you get. Sometimes you drop a few, miss a few spikes. It's all right. Let's keep it rolling. Um, okay, here's the last one, everyone. My throat's going to be like, it's like telling me to stop. It's like, dude, just stop talking. You've been talking for a while. Project. Beta. Okay. Beta what? We heard about beta clears before with sweets, right? It is the picture of the Stods, recent Stods mod that they did a collab with uh, the Legacies <laughs> company. Excuse me. What is betaing, GT? Something's happening. Project Beta, batch zero, it says on the bottom of this picture right here in the text. Be a part of Green Theory history this month, the 27th. All right. So we'll see what happens on the 27th. We're all going to figure out together. But all I can assume, let me know in the comments, what do you assume? Stod mod? Fish, okay. Stod's making a new... Round of Kendamas. It's been a while, right? He had his original. Uh, that was all made at RWB. You know? Nice curved sarado or cup edges for birding. Second version. <coughs> Got rid of the swoop. That was a shocker. Hey, GT's known for their swoop. But the man, Stodfather, said, Get rid of that damn swoop. So they did. Here it is. Project Beta, I'm guessing, is back to zero. Either it's a new dom uh, it's a new Ken shape from Stodd. Or Fish, I don't know, I'm just thinking of like the connection with this graphic was for the most recent Stodd mod that was a collaboration with um, the Legacies company. And the collaboration was, of course, they made their damas there, but also the paint. That steam coat, right? Is very it's made in the same place that Sioux Labs are made. Same kind of paint, different uh, amount of layers, I've heard. Not exactly sure about that, but that's what people say. A uh, different amount of layers, which will create a different amount of grippiness to the Tamas. So, zero, batch zero, project beta. Could they be talking about a new kind of paint from GT? That's my other idea <laughs> let me know before i die over here everyone what do you think that's it uh, i'm sure there's other things that i missed so i i usually do this two man ryan usually comes in picks up a lot of things that i actually forgot but hey that's it everyone for this yes that's it yeah no no one more one more one more one more serial kendamas this is one that yeah okay $200 mystery box giveaway is live on their website from now, uh, whatever, until July 
31st. Two ways to enter, either for free, everyone can do this one, or th- once, or through buying something to get an additional four chances, the mystery box will contain a mix of our latest mods and some unreleased designs, uh, ones that will be going into production later in the future, or ones that are just like, ah, we don't like those, we're just going to not do those. Mm, but still, hey, not bad, cool to get. <laughs> Links in the bio, excuse for the coughs, happening from Serial Ken Dobbins. They got mystery boxes going out. So, hey, if you've been interested in picking up a cereal, go to their website. <laughs> don't, don't get it from Ryland, because I don't know if he'll have, give you, be able to get tickets from him. Maybe you can, uh, if to pick, to get lucky and get this. But hey, there you go. I don't know what you have to do to do this. This says two ways to enter. Either for free, everyone can do this, or buy something to get an additional four chances. Link in the bio. I don't know exactly, but there you go. That's it, everyone. Um... Thanks for hanging out. It was a good one. We've been jamming. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Still in the car, everyone. Still in the car. Right, Driving. MJ, not advised. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Okay. I I got held up in traffic and I was racing home and now I'm in the neighborhood. So like I I can we're good. Kind of. Hey, come on, two hands on that, you know. What is it? Yeah. Three and nine o'clock. Eleven? Ten two and two. Eleven? <laughs> Ten and two. There we yeah. go. Hey, you can grab wherever you want it as long as you're holding on to it. I am. I promise I am. <laughs> well, there you go. Dude, I pretty much went through everything. I'm coming off of a – or I still have this weird cold uh, that's really – when I talk, it just my, – my throat just wants to, to cough up something. So I, I hit a lot of different stuff. Um, my only thing that was, oh, wait, no, I got one more, dudes. Oh, wait, no, 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 it happened already. Did it happen already? Yeah, no, it happened already. Uh, there was a JKA, the World Open, Ken Dama Fest. They had a live stream of it, which I doubt anybody watched. It finished. Yes, that was a while ago. Oh, I, I didn't get rid of that. But in any case, um, but no, the only one that's a big question is the GT Project Beta Batch Zero recent post. Yes. Yeah. My ideas were we're getting a new we're getting a new stod mod can shape or a new kind of paint, possibly in house. I don't know from uh, GT. What are your what's your take? Uh, I was kind of thinking the same thing, like a, a paint, um, because GT does you know the like the raw ash turn Thomas, which are great, and a lot of people really love them, and they're. Very clearly, they're the superior, like, natty. Like, if you're going to go natty, you have to go GT because I think, as far as I'm aware, they're the only brand that does that, like, really raw, like, raised grain yep. on their Tamas. But uh, I will say that I was, I am hoping that it's, like, a clear of some sort because I think that's what they need under their belt right now is a, yeah. a clear for their, like, uh, factory made Thomas. I think that that would like that would propel them because I kind of think that they're hitting like a dip almost. I guess you know, like yeah, there are so many shapes, there are so many paints and uh, Tama like colorways, right? Um, that they, they kind of need like a new niche, like the whole like hand turn in America natty thing. You can get that from Quad now too. Yeah. So, I think, and I'm hoping that it is at least another, like another shape, but I'm hoping that it's a paint. I think that they really, really need a paint. Maybe they do, but do we as a community do? There are so many different paints out there and different like clears or whatever in-house. Everyone's making something like, isn't it just like, what is it like, uh, 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 what is it called? Whatever paralysis when you, you have so many options in front of you and you don't know what to choose? Mm, okay. I don't know what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, right? I, the market is really oversaturated right now with not just brands, but also like in-house clears. Yeah. But I will say Everyone's that if, doing clears. if GT could make a clear that could adequately rival cushion or um, friction clear, which I still think are like the two like top two clears right now. 
I mean, I think there's, no, a- I mean, <laughs> there's a bunch, there's a bunch definitely that, you know, uh, you have all the Oak and Dama, uh, you got the Rhino clear and stuff like there's, there's a bunch out there, but I definitely think that there could be like a, um, just the shipping price that everyone's worried about, you know, it costs a lot more money to yeah. get stuff shipped. There is, if we're looking at Sulab specifically, people are always talking about the whole uh, the system that they have with becoming a member and whatnot. So, right, right now, like within the US, of course, people could still get these, no problem. If you're willing to pay the shipping price, you can get any of these shits. But within Americas, it's just like Kush. Uh, and then, this, well, at least for the bigger companies, and then it goes down to in house paints. You know, you got quad doing stuff you got uh adrian doing his clears and stuff i think whatever that moonlight also and then there's a few other ones that are creating whoever's creating damas or, you know they're they're putting their hands in 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 the elmer's mr elmer's glue and trying to figure out what kind of sticky tacky kind of paint they can make which is something like back in the day like a lot of people were also testing with but it was just like taking so much time wasn't getting it too right it wouldn't last um, <laughs> too sticky or some shit. And then that's when Hundui, the factory, got really good at creating better, consistent, like sticky tamas, their rubbers, their, 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 uh, shiny, sticky coats as well. Some yeah. people are just like, whatever, you know, let them take care of it. And that's where it went. Um, so here, you know, who knows? But that's just, uh, yeah, my, my guess of what it could be. Uh, someone else, what it was, Stacy was mentioning beta fish have swoopy fins. Maybe it's a swoopier shape. Oh, is that a name of a fish? A beta is a type of fish. Yeah. I thought there uh, was a, I thought it was designed after a carp. Beta. Swoopier. Are those fish. It's not a carp. Yet at like pet stores, the ones that come and just one little fish in the container. Okay. Pretty tiny, big, uh, uh, fins. Very. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Kind of like a almost peacock ish with their type of iridescent colors and stuff. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it. So po- I mean, that's but a, it says batch that's, zero. Also. That is possibility. Charcoal infused pants. <laughs> what, what is the benefit to charcoal infused pants? Tell me. Oh man, it's it's it health benefits all over the place, you know. <laughs> it yeah. filters everything out. Uh, You're right. not yeah. wrong. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. Those were my things that I. What was this? Oh no, it's going back. So those were those were my my pickups. Uh, and that was yeah, just the last one. But we'll see what happens because that's dropping again. Twenty seventh, we'll get more information of what's happening. But it says be a part of green theory history so if we're talking about single can maybe it doesn't really change the history but a paint that could go all over all of their tamas in the future would be kind of a bigger thing than uh changing because you know they they dropped the gt2 just what last year or something half a year ago they got the tcs that are going out there two years ago yeah i mean um and then like a, a shape is definitely a possibility but i think that they have and their shapes are great and you've got the Adrian shape, which is great for string tricks. You have uh, the BH2, which is like a really great all-around shape. Um, you've got... TO's shape. TO's shape. You've got um, the the shape that comes with the Sod mod, which is like Sod's shape, right? Another yeah. great shape. You've got the TC's. Um, you've got the GT2, which is another great all-around and a smaller can too. You like smaller mm. cans. You're not super big on like that tall amp shape. The GT2 yeah. is like a smaller shape. So I think they've got shapes covered. I'm, I'm really hoping and leaning towards some sort of paint or like something new that they would do that would span a whole line of kendamas as opposed to mm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, you know, GT is well known for their each pro getting their own shapes so yeah looking at you know uh just this the the very small text under it saying betas uh, or no batch zero 
it just made me think about Christian Frazier's batch zero of <laughs> his mods that came out. And that was a big change for it to become what the prime was it? For sweets, like right? That. Yeah. Right. Um, so, hey, so we'll, we'll, again, we'll see what happens. Great theory history to uh, the 27th. That's it. So other things to just, again, be on the lookout for everyone. Catch up World Cup happening this weekend. YouTube, watch it, support. Uh, Catch up a USA freestyle contest, 30 seconds. There's only four people who have entered so far. So be a part of that. And uh, your last chance to enter is the 28th. So go check it out. Uh, the boost shape. Thank you, Chris. The Fraser mod came, became the boost. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you. My throat's feeling it. <laughs> Glad we were able to chat even just for a little bit, Rylan. Glad you made it home safely. <laughs> um, yeah. I. So for anybody who's curious, I am finally back in Alaska. So today was like the first day that I got to like just spend the whole day with my kids. And I and, and, and MJ, you did great. Thank you so much for like pushing it back a little bit farther than we normally do. Um, but yeah, 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 I was just on my way home from dropping my kids off got held up in traffic i was listening to a lot of the stream from at licking bevels though so you touched on everything I'm pretty sure i think i missed like maybe the first few minutes but you touched on everything that i was gonna touch oh, on word. at least so nice nice there we go everything came together there you have it everyone so thanks for joining H- hang out next week Every Sunday, maybe the time will change now that Rylan is in a new time zone, a new place that he's living. Maybe they'll be happening more often at this kind of time. Who knows? But we'll be playing it by ear. So make sure to follow right now. Ken Entertainment, I'll be posting on the story when it's going to be happening for next Sunday. But usually Sundays, we'll be doing it live. And then you can watch the playbacks up on YouTube when I get them shits up in the next few days or listen to the podcast version again coming out in the next few days thanks you can support entertainment on patreon if you would like support me doing all this shit putting this stuff together so everyone can get a better uh, a hangout time and understand ken dama maybe like you know feed off of each other learn some stuff yeah maybe if you want to ask me around some mustache question we can help you there also you know uh it doesn't have to be dom related but <laughs> thanks everyone for hanging out We'll catch you again next time. That's it, and Rylan. Next time I'm going be here the whole time. Bye, guys. Peace. Keep it clean.